Hello everyone and welcome to Farming Slammer 22 with Grover Games. Um, this is going to be probably one of the first and very few episodes of tutorials. Um, I know that myself, including a lot of other people, were having questions. This is looking at, I believe his name was JMF Modding. Let me look here quick. And on his barns and such and TMR mixer silos. Um, I will put a link into the description to his like specific page of all his different mods and stuff. But yeah, I figured this would be a good time to give a tutorial on it. So we'll kind of jump in here quick. So if you haven't, he makes quite a few different mods. He makes more of the realistic silo. Well, I shouldn't say realistic silo, but more of the silo mods that I would be into. So as you can see, we got his TMR mix and style silo, which is also back here on the, his custom made dairy barn. We'll take a quick look at that too while we're here. And then we got the upright silo for storing silage, for putting chaff up in and turning it into sil silage. So we got corn or haylage, depending on what you put in there. And we'll kind of run through that. That, and then this is a mineral silo. And I've never messed with what, this before, so we're going to show you kind of how everything works here. Um, and we'll go from there. So right now, let's kind of take a look at his barn here. Actually, we'll pick up a few cattle too. Just to show where all the manure and stuff gathers at. So basically, there, he's got a mod that is straight up this barn. And it comes with its own built-in slurry pit, so you don't have to put an extension or anything like that. And one of the useful triggers he has on it is that, as you can see... We can hide the slurry pump and everything, and then we can just bring it back up the same way right there. Uh, right here, he has his own like custom-made manure heap type thing, so it's a little conveyor. Um, I will be honest with you, I had some... I'll kind of show you where everything's at in here. In the build menu, too. Uh, be honest with you, I had some issues with it, and I had to use another mod to kind of get the setup right, and I'll kind of show you here. So... As you can imagine, you can find his barns underneath production and cattle. And he's got two style. He's got no fence and a fence barn. And one of the other things that come along with... And all his silos are going to be... Oh, in the silos tab. So we got the... We got the two... The 80 foot harvest, harvest store silo and the 60 foot concrete silo. And then we got the high moisture corn silo. I didn't put the 80 foot harvest store out, but I'll... I'll set it up quick just so you can see it here. So there's that for you. But it does the same thing as this concrete one. And then we also got the TMR mixer silo, which I got set up over here as well. Because I noticed that on his webpage when I was looking through it, there was a lot of people with a lot of questions and such. And this is a PC only mod as of right now. And I figure I kind of go through, go through it because I know a lot of people were having questions like how, how to get the... How do you put grass in there and such? Or the hay for the TMR mixing. And I I had a few issues myself, so I've been playing with this for a few hours. And that, this is what I've learned. And then this is his, his custom made manure heap. But the issue I was having was when I would place it. I can place it here. Just a second. I just want it kind of out of the way. Maybe I can't place it right now. So, we'll just place it on the barn. So when you would place it, it would sink into the ground like that. And the only way I was able to bypass that was by a mod. And I, as you can tell in my construction settings. Just because I, I kind of wanted to keep the chain conveyor because it's built inside the barn. Oh, come on. Having a little issues right now. Let's go to silos, extensions. And the only way I was able to bypass it was with another mod. As you can see, I have free mode off right now. If I trigger it on, it doesn't sink it into the ground. But for now, we're going to go back. Sell both of those because I kind of want to show you how, how it works and everything. So this is kind of a tour of the barn. It's got cattle in here already. They're... They're not interactive, so to speak, and as you can see on the floor here in the trough, we got the chain conveyor. 
And that's why I have it going out this end of the barn. So basically that's where your manure is going to collect. And the slurry is going to collect below. And right here is another mod he's made. It's called an Agrimetal 812. So basically it's like a little miniature TNMR mixer. And right there is our TNR mixer silo. This is the only way I've been able to get, get it to work with like feeding inside. I have not found any way to where it directly feeds in to here and feeds the cattle. I don't know if there is a way. I've tried for several hours and couldn't find anything. And I found this is the best solution another mod he's made, which will, the link will be below to his little page of all the mods he's made so far for 22. But yeah, so... I know a lot of people were asking like, well, which silo goes what? So this blue silo here is for the high moisture corn for the ration. And this concrete silo is gonna be for all your chaff or for your mixing your, making your silage. So we're gonna jump on the 44 here. And I noticed a lot of other people had issues with trying to figure out how to work the blower. So first thing you wanna do is turn on the tractor and just Get your triggers for the unload here. And there we go. So we got the blower going. I was going to use the Kilbros wagon to unload there, but it's not interacting with it. So be aware of that. Some mods do not interact very well with this blower, and that's one of them. I also remember reading some issues he had on the on his personal page saying he had some issues with the, uh, the Meyer chopper box, but he's got that fixed now, just so you're aware. So we're gonna, oh, we're gonna dump this in here. Oh shoot! A little too much weight for the skid steer. I know I got this work before and when I was testing it. So we're gonna get the corn we spilt. And we're gonna try this again, maybe. Uh, you know what? We're gonna get rid of a little bit just so that this thing can stop tipping forward so much. Basically, you'll approach here, the general area. Oh, maybe it'll work. Hmm. Having a little issue here. Let's try this again. one more time. I know I got it to work earlier. I'm testing. There we go. So right there, it shot up, shot all that corn up into the silo. So we'll get a little more here. We'll, we'll clean the rest up later cause, so we can see how the mineral silo work because it does take also cor like whole corn as well. So this would be corn you get from combining. Oop. There it goes again. So you see the trigger points can be a little testy, especially with the way I'm doing it. But I think if you got like one of the normal, oh, giants wagons, it should work like it should. So there we go, we got that in there. And the silage works just the same. So we're gonna, let me get this picked up here, cleaned up here quick. We're gonna need this for the other spot. So I'm gonna drive this over here quick. out of the way so the silage for the silo is going to be the same concept it's a little tricky pulling this underneath here I don't it doesn't have to be perfect but my OCD jump around here quick we're gonna pull this just a little bit closer there we go like so we're gonna hop into the tra other tractor over here. We're gonna give this a whirl. So you just pull alongside here. And you just sit the start unloading trigger like you're gonna be dumping. And there it goes. We are now dumping chaff into the silo. So while that's going on, we'll shut that off here so that way I don't have to refill it for the other silos when I demonstrate. It's 
gonna be the same exact same for the other silos. We'll turn that off for now. And to manage this production, you just go in here and start triggering it. So you got corn silage, or you can turn in haylage, the grass into silage as well. So it just works like any other production structure, but the difference is you don't use silage in this TMR ration here. But basically what you'll do is, so since we're gonna, we got chaff and we're gonna have hay, we're gonna do the hay mix one. And now it's gonna pop up and say, I'm missing materials. And one of the biggest issues someone was having was that they didn't know where to put the hay at. You thought they put it in the silo, but no. You just drop the bales into the mixer right here directly. So you dropped another one, and there we go. So now we got, got 1,300 liters of silo, or 1,300 liters of hay in there, and we got 1,000 liters of corn, and 4,000 liters of chaff. And one of the other things is, oh, forgot to turn autosave off, but that's fine, is that we can also change it to high moisture corn mixture. So all our corn in there is start gonna be used in the TMR ration. So it's kind of a neat setup the way he has it. You have all these different options here for how to run your silage. So we'll just leave it on that and I'll slowly drain the corn and the chaff and the hay. And I know another thing that people probably were having issues is figuring out where the trigger is. For straw and such, the trigger for straw is just right in the middle here. So there we go. Took the bale, and you can just put whole bales in there, even big squares and rounds. I've tried it, they all work the same, so you don't need any shredder. And you just put it in there, like so. Uh, before I forget, let's get us some cattle. And this barn only holds 45 head of cattle. So while we're waiting for that, while we're waiting for that, I'm going to show you how the little TMR mixer works. But for now, let's head on over here. The only thing trigger I forgot to try on this concrete silo was where the silage come from. I think it's going to come from the big chute right there. All the old ones in the 19 had the little conveyor set up like these other two buildings has. So we're going to learn that together here in real time. So grab the 4040 here, get our blower moved over. And we are still on unload here, so nothing's changed there. And one of the other mods I suggest getting if you're going to be kind of doing this yourself. I know when I when I was met back in 19, I was messing around with course play and such. I actually had set up where course play could do this while I chop. I had one little accident once with it, but it wasn't the end of the world type thing, but basically I had it set up to where I could have course play come around the corner and unload the silo, the full wagons for me while I got to run the chopper. So do the fun, fun bit instead of running around all the time. So just a second here, I didn't like how I was set up there, so. We're gonna just pull around the corner here. And there we go. We got the same trigger again. So we'll start that. And this will be in the same production menu. So the 80 foot silo there, the 60 foot, so right there, you can see. We got silage go going in there. And this will automatically start doing it on its own. So you don't have to trigger it like this one this production structure, it'll start making the corn silage on its own. So we can stop that, turn this tractor off, because we're done with that one for now. So we're gonna swing around here quick. We're gonna see how this high moisture silo works. Because I have not done much with this, I haven't even tried pulling up to it yet. So there we go. Like I said, it doesn't need to be perfect, but it's just my OCD there. So we'll take the little skid steer here. Our bucket of corn. Oh. And we'll 
we'll hop into this tractor here. Turn on the unload here. I really think that's cool what JMF has done for for the unload here. I just wish the tractor would stay high idle like that the whole time. That'd be more realistic. But you know, I'm happy with what he's done because I do like these mods. So there we go. Now we're sending corn up into that. Turn that off here. And we'll manage production structure here. Get that going. Oh, it does look like you have to trigger it. I was trying before and it wasn't doing it, so. And now we got mineral feed being made. And over here, it's just, this is just an, the same silo that's on that dairy. You can set it up by itself. There are, the dairy and the silo both are separate buildings. So in here, I could go over here. Pick up some TMR. We'll haul this over the barn, and I'll show you where the drop point is for that. So just in case you don't don't really want to have this double TMR set up over here, and just want to do something like these silos and make your own. I do not know if you can reach it with the TMR mixer. I think that's something I'll try here quick, just so we have our question answered as well. So you just dump it like so. Right here, and this is where you feed the cattle. The trigger for the feeding the cattle, so. And right now, is this building still going? Yep. Well, as you see, we're still going. Normally, this there's a little bit of mechanical sound going on, so. Fill up in here. Turn this on. And there we go. Have it on the wrong side, but it all accomplishes the same. It's just easier to ha You can just leave this machine here the whole time, and that's the only way I've been able to figure it out. I've tried several other things. I tried putting that conveyor underneath there, so that way it could just self-feed the whole time. But that never worked either. This is the best option, and it's actually kind of made for this the way it looks. I've never used one of these before in real life myself, but I've seen them, and they're kind of... Kind of a little neat thing, because it just drive they just drive it around the barn and drop feed in front of all the cattle here. And by the way, obviously this is the buy mark. I didn't mention that for your cattle and load and unload. Right here is your milk mark. And right now we're gonna do we're gonna head up to the house quick here. Skip a day ahead. That way, I can show you where the manure's piled up at. And show you how the triggers work for the barn for the slurry and the manure. Also, another mod I would suggest getting for when you're doing silage and stuff is the disable engine mod. We'll grab the case here. And we'll go grab one of the spreaders here, so. Grab that. Also, if you're wondering, this is my, like, test map. That's why it kind of looks a little really messed up. But I suggest if you get PC mods like I do, it's always best to test them out first and putting them into the reality so right there and there's our slurry we'll unhook that there as you can see there's like manure piling up there at the end of the barn right where that chute is at like I said the only way to get it I've gotten it to whoop forgot I the demonstration hole there to like stay up like word like that was another mod and I think it's called the free placement mod. It will be on, it's on, it is in the mod hub. The only way I ever gotten it to work, stay, work like it should was stay right there. So if we pull next to it, and there we go. And that's how you fill your manure up. Which is kind of a nice, easy way to do it. There's one other thing. I haven't tried the milk trigger, but yeah, so, right there. 
Now we got we're all on our manure. But like I said, I tried I tried dumping directly with the Kilbros wagon in there. I haven't tried any other wagons yet, and I might might do that quick here. Just to get some ease of mind. So I'm gonna do a cutaway quick here. I'm gonna go buy buy one of the regular trailers. We'll just buy that one. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. And we'll buy a little tanker too, so that way I can show you how the milk trigger and everything works as well. So we'll be back in a second. All right, so we're back. This little jump there got the got the items I needed bought. Got the trailer loaded with corn, and I got the little tanker here. And like I figured, you just come up here with the fill item you need right underneath the chute here. You have your silage chute coming out, which I kind of actually like a little bit better myself personally. First little conveyor, just because we have a silo like this on our at my folks' place, and it's more realistic to me. So, just like the other silos and stuff, it works like that. Um, and I got the blower we're running, and I back the tractor up with the wagon. As you can see here, trigger works. And we're filling, as you can kind of see a little bit, corn animation. We're filling up our high moisture silo with corn to turn into mineral feed. And the only other thing I want to say as a note. When filling this with hay, let me go to a little under 5,000 liters. I can't remember for sure. The thing is, you can drop bales in there, and the bales will continue to it'll slowly, obviously, take away from the bales as it normally does for other things. So, yeah, like I said, I think I think the issue is on the Kilbros wagon side why it won't work there. But I'm guessing you might be able to do a little trick with the conveyor. Now I'm curious. I didn't mean to shut it off, I meant to stop. So before we do that, I'm gonna hop into the skid, skid steer here. Dump this on the ground. And we'll go over here. Show you that we can also get our mineral feed. For your rations. If that's something you choose to add to your rations. Turn that off. Wrap this truck here. Oh. Uh, let's grab the Dodge. Grab our little milk tanker. There we go. Got 217 liters of milk so far from our cattle. But I'm gonna grab our conveyor over here. Like I said, I'm curious. I'm gonna just jump to the bit after I get this set up here, so we'll be right back so you don't have to watch this all. All right, so I got the tractor going again. This is gonna be the moment of truth. Bear on. I wonder. I'm over here. Oh, let's see. If this works. Oh. Oh. Stop that there for a second. Not tell if it's working, are we? Up. Oh. Hmm. You know, it did something like similar with 19 to get something like this to work. Up. Oh. There we go. 
I think we got it figured out. Maybe. Might be a little finicky. This looks like it's just a little bit finicky, but you know what? It somewhat works. If you have that issue, you can use a little conveyor like this. Otherwise, I know I I don't have this mod myself. I saw that there's a guy with called like I think it's called Diablo conveyors where he has them at a, unloading at a higher rate. But yeah, so there we have it. Amazing what you can do with a little outside of the box thinking. I know I did this before in 19 with something similar where one of my wagons wouldn't interact, so I ended up just getting a little conveyor and, and made it work. Um, but yeah, that's all we're going to have for this episode. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching. If this helped you out, please give it a thumbs up. This is probably one of the only few tutorial view videos I'll do just because there's so many other content creators out there that handle something like this. But like I said, I saw... I, I had a bunch bunch of issues figuring out my, the stuff myself and I thought it was a good opportunity to kind of show all the tips and tricks and how these silos work and such just because I think I think they're a really cool add-on to have in your in your playthroughs if you kind of like the modern American farming style style so and I think it's all hopefully this will help JMF out for modding because like I said I use these Towards the end of 19, I used a lot of his silos and his blowers and stuff, and I, I really enjoyed it. I, I really think this is such a cool feature that he was able to figure out and add into the game. I, I, I have a lot of praise for that Jeff, that person and the mods he has. Like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link down below to his main page, and then I'll leave the link. I'll leave individual links all the mods that I've downloaded to get this set up to work. But like I said, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up if you want to check out some of my other content on the channel i've been doing my own playthrough series on elm creek here uh, i've been uploading uh, having new releases every monday wednesday friday just because that's what my life allows right now um, if you have any other tips or tricks or you know how to make this this silo just directly feed in without any any little tmr mixer or anything like that Please let me know, because I've tried placing this silo several dozen times, and I could never figure out how to get it to, like, directly feed the cattle. Even with distributing, I thought it would it would figure it out. Oh. Cattle are starving. But, yeah. Like I said, it, it took me some time, and like this mod was also made by him, and I think it was specifically made for this barn, obviously. But yeah, if you like I said, if you got any other tips and tricks or any advice that or something I missed, please leave it in the comments down below. Any help will, that'll help anyone out is very greatly appreciated, I'm sure. Um, last thing I want to say, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. Most of all, thanks for watching. Yeah.